This video will demonstrate how to read your owner state. The first section of this page includes all your owner statements sorted by date. Because the reports are sorted by date, your annual statement will be found next to your January statement of the same year, not at the end of the year. This means you have to scroll down to find the annual statement. You can also filter your view so that you only see statements from a certain time period. Click on the name of the statement you wish to view. Some browsers will automatically open the statement for you, while others require you to save the file to your computer first and then allow you to open it. Owner statements start with an overview page. Your contact information is on the left and the inclusive dates of the statement are on the right hand side. Below that is your general ledger showing a total of all income and expenses. The first line is a previous balance, which is comprised of all income and expenses since your last statement. If we receive income or pay a bill on your behalf prior to the first of the month, but after the last statement was published, it shows as a previous balance. After that, you'll see all the different income and expense categories. Please note that to the left of each dollar amount is a plus or minus sign to help you determine if the amount is increasing or decreasing your net total. The income line will include a combined total of all rent payments, laundry income, utility refunds, or any other monies received on your behalf. The expense line includes anything paid out on your behalf, such as our management fees, utilities, or repairs. Most owners will never have a liability in a report, so this won't show on your report and can be ignored. Total includes your previous balance, plus your income, minus your expenses. Next, the report adds any contributions you've made to your account. This typically occurs when an owner has a special project that can't be covered by the monthly rent income. For example, an owner may have $1,000 in rent income, but they need to replace a furnace for $3,000. The owner can contribute $2,000 to their account through the owner portal, so we have enough money on hand to pay that invoice for them. Next is the owner draw showing any amounts paid out to you during this report period. The ending balance is any amount remaining after your last owner draw. If everything has already been paid out, this will show a zero balance. The portfolio minimum will display any funds held in reserve for your portfolio. We maintain a reserve for some owners so we can pay invoices quickly rather than wait for rent income. Finally, any funds on hand that have not yet been paid out to you will show as due to owner. Next, you will see specific income and expense details for each property. Every property will have its own page. 1726 Salisbury is a single family home. It shows the address in the upper left. You see the details of any income payments and then details of expenses. Notice that we break out labor and supplies for vendor charges. Supplies may be tax deductible and need to be tracked separately. At the bottom you'll see your net income for this property, which is the amount you'll be paid. The next property is a multifamily unit, so you'll see there's more rent payments. You'll also notice these tenants are making partial payments, so it has six payments for three apartments. Beneath that, I show the expenses for this property and then the net income that will be paid out to the owner. That is a summary of how to read the owner's statement. Thank you for watching and be sure to contact the office if you still need assistance.